All right, the time is finally here. Let's see what I've been working on for the last 20 days. Ready? This piece ended up being a huge challenge for me. I was working with a bunch of new materials right down to the water jet cut marble tile here. But I'm so happy with the way that this thing turned out. Let's take a look at some of the features. Of course, there's the pull cord to turn it on. And that's the project, thank you very much. Kidding, come on, this is JBB Creative. You guys thought that it would just end right here? So the first feature, if you search under this corner right here, there's a secret switch. Not so secret anymore, and that reveals a control panel. This uses a servo that I modified to run continuously in either direction, and a rack and pinion system to extend and retract the control panel. I use limit switches to tell the motor to stop when the control panel is fully extended or fully retracted. This control panel has three dials on it. One dial for the red light, one dial for the green light, and then one dial for the blue light. Different combinations of these three dials allow you to get a whole bunch of different colors with the LEDs. Now if you hit this switch right here, it turns on a fan. Why does it turn on a fan? Well, when you hit this button in the middle, you start to get some smoke. The smoke machine literally just uses a vape coil attached to a fan through a 3D printed adapter. The vapor runs through this tube and into the vapor chamber. I previously used a cardboard prototype to determine the best volume for the vapor chamber. If you run out of fog juice and you need to refill the reservoir, that's what this switch is for. Hit this switch and it reveals the reservoir that you can refill. This feature uses a servo motor that I did not modify. So it's just a simple angle out, angle in. Love that feature. The whole sculpture is mounted onto this massive 3D printed backplate. In order to print this whole thing, I had to split the backplate into six separate parts so they would fit on my Prusa machines. I then used thread forming screws to screw all the parts together through these pocket holes. And it resulted in a pretty solid single piece. I then pressed the marble panel onto the backplate and used two part epoxy to hopefully hold it there. I threw LED rings behind the central circles and installed them into the chamber. I wired the whole thing up to an Arduino, and then I mounted it to the wall on these French cleats. I honestly wasn't sure if it was gonna hold, so big breath of relief. So you might be wondering, why is this control panel in Swedish? That's the final feature of this project. This whole thing is going to Swedish House Mafia as a gift to them for performing in Toronto at the Scotiabank Arena. When you turn off the lights, that's when you get the real effect of this thing. And that's the project. Thank you guys so much for following along. This has been a lot of fun playing with smoke, playing with some new materials. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned for that.